tasting whiskey. Tasting whiskey may seem complicated. It may at first seem like people must have incredibly delicate palates to taste so many flavors in a whiskey, when many people just taste, well, whiskey. But it isn't that difficult. There's four essential categories to consider. Appearance. Is it clear? Cloudy? Perhaps light amber or dark mahogany in color? Age proof and filtration methods all affect appearance. Hold the glass up to the light or in front of a clean white sheet of paper. Get a good look at it. Swirl the whiskey around in the glass once or twice and really examine it. Aroma. Smell is a vital part of taste, and thus it's very important to not skip the aroma portion of taste. Keeping your lips parted a little bit, stick your nose right above the opening of your glass, or even in the glass if you're using a snifter, Glencairn, or dram glass. Taste. Don't gulp the whiskey. No matter how strong it is, you'll get used to the alcohol burn on the tongue until it doesn't bother you. So take a generous mouthful into your mouth and chew it a little bit. Move the whiskey around the inside of your mouth with a chewing motion to coat your tongue. Notice the differences in flavors from the front and to the back of your tongue. Finally, swallow it. The tongue has several tasting zones. The tip of the tongue detects sweetness. The middle of the tongue detects salty flavors and the back of the tongue can taste bitterness. These zones combine with the aroma to find the flavors of whiskey. Finish. The finish refers to the sensations after you've swallowed. How long does the taste stay with you? If it lingers for a while, that's a long finish. If it dissipates quickly, it's a short finish. Do any other flavors manifest in your mouth as the finish dissipates? What textures do you notice? Did you catch a warm sensation in the upper part of your body after swallowing? You may find it helpful to add a few drops of water to your whiskey, but don't overwater it down. You can always add more water to the glass, but you can't unmix it once you've poured it in. Adding distilled water can help open up the aromas and flavors as well as bring the proof down slightly, especially if it's a high proof of spirit. And why distilled? Well, it's simple. Iron is the mortal enemy of whiskey, ruining the flavor. Distilled water is free of iron. So, you ready to taste? First things first, you need to get a good glass. Rocks glasses are great for drinking whiskey, but bad for tasting it. Open mouth of the rocks glass fails to trap any aromas and makes it difficult to get a good whiff of the spirit. Opt instead for some sort of tasting glass. The most popular these days is the Glencairn glass, as you may have seen in many photos. The small base makes a handy grip to hold the glass at various angles to really make it easy to get a good look at the appearance. The bulbous glass makes it easy to get a good swirl or two, and the narrow neck with flared rim allows the aromas to gather just under the edge and the alcohol smell to dissipate. Overall, it's perfect for tasting. Lastly, you can use a small white wine glass. Be careful of red glasses though, as they can be too large to concentrate the aromas. Distillers use a glass very similar to a white wine glass called a copita to test their product before bottling. Then, grab yourself a bottle of distilled water from your local grocery store. If you find yourself struggling to identify flavors and aromas, tasting wheels are a great tool to keep on hand. There's countless ones on the internet. Start from the inside of the wheel and work your way out. The whole point of the flavor wheel is to help identify a flavor with what you're thinking. If you taste something that isn't listed, just add it yourself. Make a mental note of it. So lastly, go taste that whiskey. The best way to become proficient at whiskey tasting is to do it. It's always easier to taste in the comfort of your home or friends, but there's no reason you can't do it at a bar or restaurant as well. There's often educated personnel that can help you down your whiskey road. It's just more cost effective to split a bottle or buy one glass at a bar than to buy a full bottle of rare limited release just for one taste. Now get to tasting. Enjoy.